Mina is my co-host today. We're going to talk about crinkle balls and which wet food is the best. I'm trying not to squish you in the couch. I got that on camera for just assaulting you. <laughs> you see this here again? She's harassing you. We're both drinking tonight. It is a Tuesday. No? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tuesday. Well, since it's fucking blizzarding outside, we deserved it. Cheers to that, ma'am. Okay. Uh, welcome back to Sappho and her sister. Um, apparently, I don't know what we're doing today. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> apparently. Hi, baby. Listen, Satan spawn, stay over there. Oh, I have video evidence of the cat attacking <laughs> Alyssa, so. So we are doing back to our roots when we originally started the Shenanigan Dig. Shenanigan Shin Shindig. Yes. That's the word I was My mouth was full at the time. Um, we were doing... Reddit story, so we're doing some glitch in the matrix. It's just been a while since we did one. Reddit? Oh, and I have to show off to baby. Mm -hmm. A baby that doesn't want to be shown off. Hi, baby. Oh, no. <gasps> no shenanigans by the tripod. <laughs> no. Lily's on one side and me is on the other side. Okay. Uh, we are doing a glitch in the matrix, half Reddit, half TikTok. Mm -hmm. I'm Reddit, she's TikTok. Mm -hmm. So, I found some I'll good be shit. editing the Reddit ones. And oh, honestly. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Also, I really like your makeup Thank today. You. you have to take a picture and like put it, we'll, we'll put it in because it looks really, really good. You think I'm ever confident enough for a selfie? I'll take one for you. I'll get you good lighting and everything. I'll have to approve of it though. Duh. Sappho and her sister. Yes, hi, welcome. Um, <laughs> yeah, we, we should cover intro. Anything, Fuck. anything, and everything. We do what we want. <laughs> yeah. Um, feel free to comment, like, subscribe, share. We also have been doing TikToks daily, uh, videos every Tuesday. Uh, daily or really. whenever I remember to post. Yeah, and um, feel free to follow us on TikTok at Sappho and her sister pod. Mm -hmm. We will link that here. And yeah, if mm -hmm. not only do you get some of our personal highlights, but also just random fun miscellaneous shit of our day-to-day -day lives. Yeah, like me almost peeing on my kitchen floor just now <laughs> while blowing my nose. No, I did, I wasn't filming. I you know. know. <laughs> I should have been. I know. That's imagine if I actually did piss my pants. <laughs> <laughs> We're so both getting over colds. I've been sick for an entire full calendar week. Seven days. The symptoms started on Monday when I was filming that stupid solo video. I was fighting for my life to get through that because I was coughing, my throat was dry, I was not having a good time. And it turned into a full-blown cold and I'm only like finally feeling released from the shackles today. And I'm still full of snot. Like... Isn't it's it, better, but isn't it funny? Like how, I'm not plugged up. Isn't it funny how I got sick after you and I got better before you? Yes, I don't it's know how. how. You well, I might have just weakened my immune system too much because my theory is I did it to my own damn self because I worked literally fourteen days in a row nonstop. Many of those days I was working both jobs, mm. so. <laughs> <laughs> true, true. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and literally the day that I first started feeling symptoms was my first day off in at least two weeks. Full, complete day off. That kind of makes sense. And yeah, yeah so we're, we're both full of snot right now. Yeah. And it's been... She was blowing her nose, and then I blew my nose, and then she blew her nose again. <laughs> and then I blew my nose again. <laughs> because I do each nostril individually, so... <laughs> She was losing her mind. It's just so It's like funny. an orchestra of honking geese. 
It's the sisterhood of the traveling nose blowers in this house right now. It's the goose orchestra. <laughs> All the honking we do. Oh my god. I've been it's... calling it the goose orchestra. <laughs> oh my god, we have to tell them to death. Our poor neighbors. <laughs> They're about to have a baby, it's okay. <laughs> We'll, we'll get our comeuppance. Between the screaming memes and the loose <laughs> orchestra and the dog. <laughs> what the fuck? That's a thing. What the fuck is this? I don't know. Baby? It's it's one of those phrases that like it's been around for <clears throat> like long enough where I just have no idea where it came from. I've just heard it a handful of times. Like Jitney? That's not a word. That's yes, gibberish. It is. No, it is it's a word. Gibberish. It literally That's gibberish. It's Arlene's. No, it literally is a fucking word. It is not. Okay, for those of you who don't know, growing up, side tangent. Um, <laughs> we're when, never going to get to the actual shit. <laughs> okay, after this, we're going to get to it. Okay, so when I was growing up, me and my mom would go shopping. And when I was little enough to fit in the cart, she would be like, oh, get in the jitney or jitty it's to a cart. Me in the cart. Yes. So, Jitney... I will accept trolley because it's cute and quirky and British. Okay, Jitney from the Oxford languages is an informal noun from North America, meaning a bus or other vehicle carrying passengers for a low fare. Not a shopping cart. An unsolic- unlicensed taxi cab. What's it the, is slang... What's the region it came from? <clears throat> Hang on. Let's go to Merriam-Webster. An unlicensed taxi cab. Slang for a nickel. Jitneys weren't worth a darn, just a nickel. In the early 1900s, Jitney was slang for a nickel, but it wasn't long before the term was applied to a new mode of public transportation that only cost a nickel. When they were introduced <clears throat> in American cities at the beginning of the century, vehicular Jitneys could be any automobiles that carried passengers over a set route for a cheap fare, but eventually the term was applied specifically to small buses and nowadays to the motor shuttles used by airlines and hotels. In the mid-1900s, the word Jitney was combined with Jeep to create a new coinage, Jeepney, meaning a Philippine Jitney bus that. converted from I a Jeep. That. Oh my god, I love it! I hate <laughs> that. But where geographically did it come from? Hang on! Okay. It says origin unknown. First known use, 1886. I'm talking like, is it a southern thing? Is it a Midwest thing? Is it, it doesn't say. It says origin unknown. <laughs> Maybe somewhere else will say. It's from the Merriam-Webster Dictionary. Maybe somewhere else will say. <clears throat> Where did the word jitney originate? Louisiana Creole French. Oh, so it's his own thing. Yeah. Okay, shut up. So, yeah. I still hate it. I swear to God, I'm an old Southern woman. We grew up in different universes, my friend. We oh, my mom sent me a TikTok. <laughs> no. Okay, we are getting back on track. All right. Back to the task at hand. Glitch and the Matrix. Okay. I have... Have we explained what glitch in the matrix is? No, you can. Um, it's when something really fucked up happens and people don't really have an explanation for it. Like... Wow. Like, the mirror reflection doesn't align with what it should be. Or, like, someone just appears or disappears out of nowhere. Like, Mm -hmm. things that don't seem to line up with the laws of reality. A lot of what people actually call glitches in the matrix are just, like... Not necessarily hoaxes, but, like, they genuinely thought it was, but it's actually, there's some explanation for it. Mm-hmm. Which we'll get into with a lot of mine, but... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't really know if I believe it, but I like the I thought <laughs> process of it. I and think... I think it's interesting to think about. I also think it's fascinating, but I... When I was trying to look up stuff... 99.9% of what I found had some explanation in the comments. Which is good. I like that. I do, too. Okay. It takes away some of the mystery, though. <laughs> yeah. I like some that are still a little ambiguous, where it's like, mm, we'll never know. And it's like, okay, I like to ponder that thought. Um, 
But yes, so are you ready for story one? I'm ready. Okay. So it is, as a former runner, running in reverse. <clears throat> Alright, this is from subreddit Glitch in the Matrix. And they say, I will say I have read many posts and my story may not be as interesting, but my husband and I talk about it all the time. My husband and I were on a road trip a few years ago. At the time, we preferred to travel at night, less traffic. We were in our early 20s and didn't mind all-nighters. We were on Interstate Highway 95 heading south. I-95. <clears throat> we used to take this drive a few times a year to the point we did not need a GPS. We were very familiar with it. Anyways, it's the middle of the night in one of the Carolinas. We're not by a big city, so any light in the sky, street light, headlight would be really noticeable. The interstate is fairly empty at this time, roughly 2 a.m. I notice an overpass bridge that I don't remember being there. I notice my husband notices it too because he tilts his head and says, hmm. Before I can say that's new or I don't remember that, we notice a man is being illuminated by orange looking lights like a row of street lamps close together while he's running. He has long curly hair and seems to be running at full speed. I mention the hair length because typically if you're running with hair down, the hair trails behind you. Well, his hair was trailing behind him, but he was running backwards. Not like a backwards run, but like someone pressed a rewind button. Maybe he has really good hair gel. His movements, his hair, everything. My husband and I would consider ourselves runners, and his form was what we noticed first. It looked like he ran forward, and then someone rewinded it. As we drive under it, I turn around and don't see that bridge anymore, and my husband blurts out, what the fuck was that? For the remainder of the drive, we tried to rationalize it, but it still freaks us both out. We call it a glitch, but it seemed more like a rewind. Where did the overpass bridge come from? Where did it go? Where did the lights go? I will add, my husband is very geographically gifted and can remember places very well. A few days later, we are returning home, and you know what still isn't there? The bridge. Ooh. So the running thing, when if you were running backwards... I was making a joke. Yeah, the, your hair would be pushed forward by the back of your head. Yeah. So it would be this yeah. way, not this way. Yeah. And when they say they notice the form first, like when you run backwards, your knees aren't touching your, your tits. When you're running forwards, your knees are touching your tits. So it's it's very strange. <clears throat> When, when they said the orange light, my first thought, because I'm thinking of ways to, like, rationalize it, mm -hmm. my first thought was, like, oh, what if they're, like, filming something and the bridge just disappearing? It was, like, uh... Yeah. This <laughs> like, there was just so many... That was just so random that I'm, like, I don't believe that that person made that up, specifically. Yeah, but still just interesting thought to ponder. Are you ready for the next one? Mm-hmm. All right, my house burned and I think I shifted. My house burned down last year and since then I've been noticing strange inconsistencies but I could never fully put my finger on it until today. <clears throat> I had the biggest one. My sister was talking about signing up to uni and the pathways and I referred to my, uh, hang on. Cause they, they made a correction. <laughs> Okay. All right, I'm gonna restart this. My sister was talking about signing up to uni and the pathways and I referred to my associates, but suddenly my mother said I only finished an undergraduate degree. What the fuck? Okay, my, my bachelor's, but suddenly my mother and I only, but suddenly my mother said I only finished an associate's degree. What the fuck? I'm 28, my whole life after I graduated, I've been saying, and knowing for a fact that I had a bachelor's. I remember studying for three years for God's sake, additional to my previous accreditation with an advanced diploma. She said it was, it was only a year and a half, which would be an associate's. The problem is my bachelor's paperwork burned in the fire mm -hmm. along with my entire room and I couldn't and I can't find myself on an online database. My passport and birth certificate and everything burnt too. Oh. I'll call the school to try and figure it out on Monday, but either way, no matter what the result, this is so, so weird and just odd, adds to the other weird thing. Everything is just off. 
Edit, I meant she thought I had an associate's degree. I realize in Australia, bachelor's is undergrad. I'm just in a really confused state. And I mm -hmm. corrected it when I said it. That's why it took me like five times to fucking say it. But that's fucking wild. It's like you never existed. Because if your passport and your birth certificate, like you're that fucking insane. cooked. What you are like? cooked. I feel so bad for that person. I know. All right, we ready for another one? Okay. My first glitch. <clears throat> Why were you like... Because I'm trying not to get cotton mouth from the wine. <laughs> I mean, you get water nearby. I know. Okay. My first glitch. <clears throat> Yesterday, I think I experienced my first honest-to-goodness glitch in the Matrix, and it's been messing with my head ever since. According... Uh, they were just talking about this stuff, right? Typically, I come to work at 7, and most of the others come in about an hour later. I keep an eye on the lobby until the windows open, shades are drawn until 8, and I do so via the camera system. When you enter the building, there is an outer lobby, and then a second inner lobby after going through the glass doors between the two lobbies. The window is bulletproof glass, and the door is secure, so you must have your fob to enter or be buzzed in. The only reason I keep an eye on the lobby is to let other employees in. My work bestie, Elle, comes in a little after 8 each day. I check the cameras and watched Elle enter the lobby from the outer lobby. I watched her walk through the glass doors. She was wearing her yellow-green puffyish coat, carrying her canvas bag and purple paisley lunch bag on her right arm. She used her right hand to swipe her fob and enter the building through the secure door, and I heard it open. Of note, she has the same routine each day. She comes into the area where they have their desks, and I have my office. She turns on a particular light, punches in at the computer located at the window, and then she sets her things on her chair at her own desk. I was hanging out by my office door, chomping at the bit to tell her something, and she didn't come through for quite some time. I thought to myself, huh, maybe she went to see E first thing. He was looking for her. I sat back down at my desk to continue working, and I watch her via the camera. She's in the outer lobby, comes through the doors from the outer lobby into the lobby. Everything is the exact same except for her coat. She now has on a reddish pink coat, but her path movements bag and lunch bag are all the same. I know something didn't happen where the camera started playing old footage from prior morning. All of my other views, I have 10 views at once throughout the whole building. We're also running normally. I also have not looked back at the footage to see if I see her twice again. I have a hunch I will only see her once this time around. It was so trippy because I know I watched her walk in that first time in the yellow coat. I kept coming back to it throughout the day and thinking on it so I thought I would share. That is wild. I like those ones where it's like there's there's no <sighs> She's just looking for trouble. I'm looking for trouble. Okay, next one. <clears throat> Alright. Someone I knew died twice in two different ways and it was in newspapers. Oh my goodness. I tried to pick some good ones. Yeah. How are they so far? They're good. Oh, what if I want to hold the kitty cat? It's not on her terms. <clears throat> Someone I knew died twice in two different ways and it was in the newspapers. I went to a high school in a very small, one-stop light sort of town. A few years after school, I was catching up with an old friend, and she told me how these two boys that we knew pretty well had passed away. We will call them Josh and Sean. I asked what had happened, and she sent me news articles about how they were working in a shop, like an air compressor, had exploded and killed them both. Fast forward a few years later, and somehow it came up in conversation I was having with my dad. I decided to try to find the news article I had previously read about it. Instead, I found an article about how Josh had been shot by people who broke into his house looking for drugs. There was actually a lot of detail in the article about the incident, and it was an unsolved crime. There was no mention of Sean at all, and I couldn't find any articles about anything happening to him. I don't have any connection any longer to anyone in the town, so I can't check to see if anyone else remembers it the original way. It's just crazy because I remember vividly reading both articles. I know for a fact that it wasn't just someone with the same name for two reasons. 
First, he had a very unusual last name, and it was a very small town. Second, there were actually pictures of him provided in both articles, and it was 100% the kid I knew from school. Another strange twist is that I looked up the story again just now to see if there was anything new. It seems the case was solved, and four or five people went to prison for it. The wow. second story has also now been featured in an episode of a TV series that I've never heard of. I'm considering trying to track it down so I can watch it. Holy That's smokes. So cool. Oh, dang. I w initially, I was going to say, like, <clears throat> oh, what if the incident just happened to Sean and they misheard about it because, you know, they worked together and maybe he was off that day and he ended up getting shot years later. But with the fact that they couldn't find anything about what happened to Sean after the fact, that's well, crazy. She said and that pictures. the article, the first article, two articles mentioned both of them. Yeah. And then... That's insane. Later on, it's a completely different story with only one of them. Interesting. Yeah. That sounds like my house. Time to go on Facebook and search up the other guy. Mm-hmm. Okay. Last one for me. Okay. We're blasting through this. I know. I try to pick, like, medium yeah. ones. Alright. I don't think objects are glitching. We are. Which I think is an interesting take. So I thought it was a good one to end on to switch over to your um, Ghostbusters type deal. Yeah. <laughs> More like Mythbusters. True. Sure. Alright. <clears throat> I don't think objects are glitching. We are. Never thought this would happen to me, but here we are and I had a witness. Today I was bending over cleaning something off the floor with kitchen wipes. I saw that the floor was clean, no more spill, and decided to wipe up one more time to make sure it was disinfected. Suddenly, the spill was back, and I was smearing it all over the floor. Oh, no. I jumped back and shouted, what the fuck? Where did that so come from? <laughs> My son was standing there handing me the wipes and said that the spill on the floor was there. It wasn't all clean. I said, no, it was there. I cleaned it, and suddenly it was back. I was wiping the clean floor one last time to make sure it was germ-free, and suddenly the spill was back. He said he was watching me the whole time and didn't see me totally clean the floor, but the second that this happened, he was frozen and then suddenly unfroze. It felt like everything stopped and then started within a small amount of time so short we can't perceive it happening, but I did and I know others here have too. In that moment when I saw the floor was clean, I then realized it, it wasn't I was there, but it felt like my body was on autopilot and that I had left and came back within a few seconds. I felt off and also felt like time slowed a bit and then quickly sped up. I don't think objects are disappearing and then reappearing. I think something is happening to us. I don't think the spill suddenly disappeared and then reappeared. Reappeared. Guard. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think I did. We are leaving and coming back, but when we come back to the same moment in time and space, something is a little different because we are coming back a few seconds earlier than we left. I think it's like I left after the spill was wiped and came back a few seconds earlier before I cleaned it. Can I go a couple decades earlier? Can I just get a redo? <laughs> Sorry. She said, uh, where we are going, I don't know. It's happening outside of our perception of time. Either we are all totally crazy and losing it or have a collective episode of insanity or something's happening to us that we don't really understand. But I kind of like that perspective in a way. It's interesting. My thought is what if she was mentally on autopilot and going through what she was about to do and like thought she had... Thought she was on the, the part where she was just finishing it up. She was thinking about, okay, I'll get this. And then, like, just one more once over to make sure it's good. Like, what if she was just running through the motions in her brain? It's possible. And, like, momentarily blanked. It's possible. I find it interesting that, like, she said her son <clears throat> was there the whole time. And yeah. he was like, oh, yeah, like, That no. was bizarre. Yeah. And, like, he froze and, like, unfroze. Like, I don't know, like, I feel like it would be kind of interesting to, like, yeah. like, have this happen to me. I've heard a few creators where, like, they tell stories like this, but they're much crazier than this, where it's, like, 
oh yeah, like I had nowhere to go and I was about to crash into like a fucking semi and I just ended up on the sidewalk like perfectly fine next to my bike. It's like, what the fuck? Mm. This first one, I just thought it was really funny. The one that, the one that I was actually laughing hard about is gonna be saved for last. Okay. Cause I think it's the funniest one. Someone make my knife butterproof and I'm not happy. It just will not stick. So did, did you try to turn it on? again. <laughs> That's the part that got me. Oh my God. And you're obsessed with butter, so I was like, I gotta see. I mean, not really, but okay. I've been eating a lot of it lately, unfortunately. Also, a lot of these I had to watch like 10,000 times over or go okay. to the comments just to get what was happening. This one I understood. Okay, yeah. here's our portals. They turned away at different speeds. What the fuck? Yeah, watch it again. And they all have that stupid sound on them. <laughs> I got goosebumps with shit like that. That one I do not have an explanation for. But I did I did think it was really funny in the comments when one person was like, guys, it's alright, a cheat me or equals lag. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. <laughs> This one is not a glitch, it's just twins, but it is insane how they were like literally in sync. And that's like glitchy enough. Yeah. Oh Especially with toddlers. It's like hell. Yeah, that's too They funny. can't synchronize on purpose. Did you see that? The guy in the red shirt up here that's like Oh yeah, I find myself watching these over and over and over to like see if I can actually explain it or not. I don't know it, who who um this girl from one division. I thought that was the girl from one division, or supposed to be the character from one division. Mm. What did you think? She's it was? in um Doctor Strange. Hang on. I've never seen Doctor Strange. You've never seen Doctor Strange? My mother loves that movie. I have not. It's really good. <laughs> well, one person mentions mentions WandaVision in the comments. Her name isn't Wanda, though. I know. Uh, I don't know. Ols Elizabeth Olsen. Yeah, that's the actress that plays her. Hot as fuck, by the way. Did um, you know she's a sister of the Olsen twins? Yes, I did. I thought it was crazy because it's like completely different decades when they're irrelevant. The Scarlet Witch. Yeah. That's her name. Yeah. But WandaVision is her backstory. Yeah. But she comes into Doctor Strange in the multiverse, which is actually really. I don't that's know where it is that. Oh my god. I that's love That's an episode Doctor to bring my mother on for. I love. We'll have to watch it. Y'all can talk it, about it all day long. Well, when you have a lot of nerdy ex boyfriends. <laughs> I have seen from like 2013 to now probably almost every fucking Marvel movie. I'm not even shitting you. From like start to finish. Even Venom and like an off brand Spider Man and shit. So, like, but I really do love Doctor Strange. Like, someone convinced me to go, to, and I was like, I don't wanna go see a superhero movie. And they were like, it's not, it's not, it's magic. And I was like, okay, cool. And it's like fucking Marvel, and I'm like, well, it was actually pretty good, but I'll show, like, we'll have a binge movie night and we'll watch okay. all the Doctor Strange movies. It's so good. I'll have to make you watch Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, but that has to be, like, a reaction video. We, I will have school. to take an edible for that. <laughs> I want to watch that and take an edible. That has to be crazy. Yeah, right? Oh my god. I can't wait. Oh my god, we could do it for Doctor Strange, too, because there's a lot of spinny shits and shit. No, but, like, yeah. That Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band is a fever dream. I want to so have you sick. react to it with an edible and without an edible, and well, it will be probably the same. <laughs> yeah. The, the glitch in the Matrix is very similar to, like, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse, so... I guess it's fitting. <laughs> I'm just talking about a 70s glam rock fever dream. Yeah. I watched this one so many times, and I couldn't, like... So his arm is, like, looped inside of the thing, and then he just pulls it as if it wasn't. 
I've watched it so many times over, and it very clearly looks like his arm was through it. So, like, I keep trying to figure out, like, what the angle could have been. I don't know. But I can't really... So that's why I saved it, because I'm like... You know? That's so strange. Yeah. Okay, this one was a little bit freaky. <laughs> It looks like a night. This was the only one that I, I, I also cannot find an explanation for this. I thought you said like, you had shit to debunk. Yeah, there's there's more of them that are like debunked. Okay. But like. Like, how is that guy just chilling out there without a hand? And people are like, oh, his head is just down. No, it's not. He's like standing very straight up. And people were saying, oh, look at his feet. He's like facing the camera. So that's a little spooky. Looking. Yeah, that's <laughs> weird. Unless you can like... This one I also don't have an explanation for. I watched it so many times because I had no idea what they were trying to point out. But I'm gonna say, watch the woman in the back sweating dress, watch the slit. All of a sudden there's no slit. Like what very clearly no slit. Huh? See, there's a slit. And now there's no slit. Weird. Yeah. That one I also don't have an explanation for. <laughs> See, like this shit, I like that. Yeah. I like this spooky. Okay, this is a debunked one. It's a really cool optical illusion. Let but me see if I can glitch. guess it. Let me see if I can guess it. It's just an optical illusion. It's not a glitch. Like, for a second there, it really looked like you went through it, but now you just turned around. <laughs> Oh, you yeah, know, I don't really believe that. But yeah, yeah. It's just an optical illusion. Yeah. Okay, next one. It's cool, though. Okay, this one, I have I have some, some commentary on it, but let's watch it first. Okay. Also, I absolutely love her bandana. It's making me want to like her bandana now. So many problems with keeping crystals in your bra. So with okay, I don't oh, explain that moldavite thing. Oh, okay, so with moldavite, it's said by the crystal people. Now bear in mind, I 
I don't believe that you're rocks have magical powers. You're a rock person, not a crystal person. I'm more of like a look at this awesome pretty thing that the earth made. You're a sciencey crystal person. Yeah, like a little more geology, except less woo woo. Less science and more just like I fucking love this because <laughs> it's shiny. <laughs> Ooh, shiny. But thing. you are a raccoon. People, <laughs> yeah, a crow. A crow? Oh a crow. yeah, a crow's like shiny. Shiny things, things yeah. But um, it's said that um, if you carry on Moldavite or wear it or whatever, it'll bring like really big life changes and it'll like set you on the path you're supposed to be on, but that's not necessarily going to be an easy path. And I actually got a little superstitious about the piece that I have because for, for the longest time I didn't want to like even touch that because Is it I in still... my house? <laughs> no, I... What I was paranoid about was that something would happen to my Sammy, mm. which that ship has sailed. So yeah, true. It's it's more about like big life changes, you know, and it's said that like when you lose it, that's when like its work is done, and hmm. I don't I don't really believe all that, but I'm like just superstitious enough where I don't really want to try it. Yeah. But the thing is. I had a piece of Libyan desert glass, which is also kind of tectite, and this was a, it was a big chunky piece, and it was fucking gorgeous, and it was so perfect, and it had a little notch in the side, where there was like a little piece that was like reflected with rainbow, which I had never seen on Libyan desert glass before, that doesn't happen very often, mm. and I remember last, I think it was last, yeah, it was last fall, I was carrying it around, and I happened to... I, I happened to be wearing a dress that day that I didn't really trust the pockets on it. I think it had pockets, but they're kind of weak. So I put it in my bra because I had like, it was a strapless bra, which you would think would be secure, but... <laughs> Honey, not with your tatas. It disappeared. It fell out of my bra and I'm like, okay, I can never keep crystals in my bra again. This is horrible. First of all, so ow. ow. You can't really notice it if it's like in between. True. I mean, I also used to put chapstick in my bra and everything else. Same. I used to run with my phone. Plus, it was a smooth rock. Mm, so okay. If it was same flat, principle. you could just kind of like. Same principle. Gotcha. But Scoop yeah, I've I've been mad at myself ever since. <laughs> That's weird. And I literally went on a rabbit hole on Etsy just to find another piece of Libyan desert class that also had a rainbow in it. Somehow I managed to make that happen and it's a very cool piece. And I am like mama bear protective over that piece. Like I don't want to know where it is, but apparently it's no, been doing it's some not, life changing shit. It's not spooky shit. You no. don't own it anyway. I've had it long before I moved in here. Okay, good. Thank God. Long before. I don't need no bad juju up in here. I got enough. I think I probably got it like last spring or summer. Mm. Long before. But yeah, I. <laughs> like, the, the thing is, like, oh, you know, when you lose it, that means it's like done its thing or whatever. Like, moved on to somebody yeah. else. Weird. Yeah. <laughs> the crystal people out here just making shit up. Sorry, crystal people. That, I mean, they do. <laughs> the funniest thing is, when you, when you look into, like, what crystal does whatever thing, there's a lot of repeats. <laughs> Like, and it's all, like, good things. I saw a meme once where people are making fun of it, and, like, like what if there were rocks that was, like... We could do a whole episode on the crystal Negative. People. We could. <laughs> do I want to Do I want to open that can of worms? Not I really. Do. Not tonight, but I kind of do overall. But, like, I gotta, I gotta see if I can find that meme, because it's the funniest fucking thing ever. It was, like, negative properties of crystals. Like, I None. can't think of any of the... I can't think of any of the examples, but it was really fucking funny. Anyway. Okay, back to... The fuck? So in the comments, I saw that this one was actually posted by someone who does video editing, so... Not legit, but still pretty cool. I mean, I could kind of see... From an editing perspective, I'm pretty impressed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so someone did edit it. So this is one actually being debunked. I'm like expecting it, I take it out of the bag, I grab this lemon, trying to see if I cut that one, I recut it, and I 
accept the lemon because the lemon wasn't cut anymore. Oh, I'm freaking out because of... Yeah, there wasn't a glitch. She just didn't cut it all the way through. And the sides of a lemon that has been partially cut can stick together. Yeah. In fact, there's a video of a guy that has done this before. If I had a lemon, I'd do it. Let me try to find that video. Okay, so I did find the video. Didn't take me very long, but it's by one Dustin Bean. Here you go. Yeah, I, I, had, I have had that happen, like, if I cut an apple and I'm not sure if I cut that one, like, I'll have to, like, I'll, like, rub it together to see where the split is. Yeah. So I have had that happen, where it's like, oh, shit, whoops. This is another one that was debunked, but it's actually really cool. So it appears to freeze, right? Oh, it's just going so smoothly? Yeah. Yeah. Apparently it's called laminar flow, mm -hmm. where it's flowing so smoothly and so perfectly that it doesn't appear that it's moving at all. Because Sometimes it's water pattern that. literally does not change. Yeah. yeah. I've so saw that with water, water, honestly. It's so fucking cool. I feel like science. Like, I just learned shit. Physics. Isn't anything we are seeing actually real? Oh! oh no! <laughs> what? Yeah. The She's also in the Marvel movie. She's a black widow. <laughs> or wait, um, this one I didn't have a. Is she the black widow? No. Anyway, sorry. I'm gonna look it up. What? One second. It's gonna bother me. I'm so sorry. You're very ADHD sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> like if something takes your attention, like it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This one I couldn't really do. Just disappeared. Watch again slower. So the woman behind her just kind of disappears behind her. And like I can't really tell that she's gone anywhere. They're right in front of a backdrop. She could just be standing perfectly behind her and She could, but then that guy is walking behind her. Oh, okay. Alright, wait, are we figuring this out in real time? Okay, watch this guy and how he scoops. It's almost like he side did oh, one of those. Oh! So she is perfectly lined up. Yeah, he turns his shoulder. Yeah. As if he was like squeaking between okay. them. Because if she moves yeah. in the same pattern directly behind her and back, if she moves side to side, she's not going to go on either yeah. side of Scarlet's head. Yeah. CGI or the Matrix. Yeah. Really I'm watching the guy. Yeah, yeah, I thought that was really stupid, but... I figured it out! <laughs> Yay! Yeah, someone says she's still there if you look under Scarlet's arm. I'm so distracted. Look under the tatas. Oh, they're right there! And they're right there! <laughs> I didn't even think about that when I saved that. I think we're almost done. <laughs> Am no. I beat red right now? Yes. Yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, this will be fun about it. This one's also debunked. I like that one rebel that's just like eating because he doesn't give a fuck. I know some birds, like, they will all just freeze as like a defense mechanism. Yeah. I, is that what it is? So I was reading in the comments and they call it a lion scan. And it's, yeah. it's when they all freeze in place. Because they think that so there's that a, predator. a predator. doesn't. And I think that's so fascinating how they Meerkats all just do that. know how to do that, like, right instantly. Meerkats do that. Yeah. Like, that's so freaking cool. 
Mm -hmm. Birds are smart. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is the one that I was laughing about. All right, Jesus. I was laughing so fucking hard. You have to pay attention, okay? Pay All attention right. to the broom. Shocking scene captured by surveillance cameras. After watching it, I couldn't calm down for a long time. It truly made me believe in the existence of parallel universes. In the first, the girl is playing with her phone while cleaning. She quickly gathers the trash together. But just as she picks up the dustpan to collect the garbage, she suddenly notices that the balloon has vanished into thin air. This sight completely baffles the girl. She can't comprehend how the balloon she was holding just moments ago could disappear. Could it be a ghost? After several minutes of searching, the girl... How did this guy say that with a straight face? She her head and decides to grab another broom. She plans to finish her work first and then analyze what happened. Continue with her tasks. The girl takes out a new broom to resume sweeping. Perhaps the captivating content on TikTok distracted her, unfortunately, in her multitasking state. Her phone coincidentally drops to the ground. The girl looks at her phone and falls with great distress. However, at that moment, she suddenly spots the missing girl, startling her to the point where she almost shouts for her mother. If it weren't for the surveillance footage, her experience today might have required a Nobel Prize winning physicist to explain. This is an incredibly shocking... It wasn't that funny, but that is kind of funny. I thought it was funny. I mean, Just I have he's... I have done this. Where the fuck yeah. are my glasses? <laughs> it's a million. It's the times. fact that the narrator is playing it so straight. Mm. It got me. So I have good. gotten pissed at people. So funny. it's like when you can't find the remote and you blame everybody else in the fucking house because mm -hmm. you don't have it and you need the remote and it's in your fucking hand. Mm -hmm. Love it. So that was the last one that I saved. Yay! Damn. Those weren't scary at all. Except for the headless one. That was yeah, that was a little spooky. spooky. Yeah. Yeah. Spooky ooky. Have we learned anything today? Probably not. We but that's okay. <laughs> we saw Scarlett Johansson's titties. <laughs> <laughs> they really were just out there. Oh my god. They're beautiful. I mean, she looks stunning in that dress. She's Scarlett Johansson. Uh, See, that's the kind of a name that I hear like a zillion times uh, to the point where it just loses meaning because I'm not a fan of anything that she's been in because I haven't seen anything that she's been in. So her name means nothing to me. And just her being like such a big celebrity is like... Well, like, no, like her it's name like, is... No meaning to her me. name is Scarlet. Like Scarlet is a shade of like red and orange. I know. So that's why I'm like anything she looks... And like she has like reddish blondish hair... Sometimes, so... She was blonde. Well, yeah, there she was blonde. But it kind of goes back and forth. Oh. But, um, <clears throat> she looks very, very good in red. Yeah. But she I is, like... So. Like, listen, I should have known that I was gay when I was watching the Marvel movies <laughs> with my ex. Because, damn, that tight fit in black would have helped it. <laughs> <laughs> the amount of times we rewatched that was yeah. probably more for me. Yeah. But not for understanding. I I was trying to analyze and figure out what was going on. <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, and what happened? I think half of the time that I was expecting you to be analyzing it too, oh, you were in another planet. <laughs> <laughs> Where can I go? Okay. Thank you for watching. Um, we hope that y'all do or do not have glitches in your matrixes, but if you do, no, we glitches, let you glitches are scary. <laughs> yeah, but if they're not scary to you and you want to share, feel free. If you've had a glitch, let us know. Or something that feels like a glitch. Yeah. Or just something that at the time felt like a glitch, but it was actually not. Let us know. It's a mitch. A minor glitch. So, yeah, let us know in the comments um, or start a discussion on TikTok or something like that. Talk um, to us, we're lonely. Uh-huh. I said talk to us, we're lonely. I know. It's just us over here. I know. The Join cats, our party. Cats don't talk to us. My cat barely even wants to acknowledge that I exist. Sounds like a personal problem. <laughs> um, but, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Um, also, if you're not subscribed, subscribe. Mm -hmm. It's been going up. It's been going up. You guys are coming over from the TikTok and the shorts feed, so we appreciate it's happening. that. happening. Yeah. We're going to try to continue putting out some recent stuff, some fun stuff, some I still personal can't, stuff. I still can't believe that one of our TikToks got like a thousand views. And it was one That's my hangover one. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> he was just like acting all innocent. My shirt was like <laughs> hanging sideways on my hanger. Hey, I got it in one of the holes. That was the funniest damn thing ever. <laughs> I'm so proud that that was the most feared one. Thank you. <laughs> Glad I could do that service. <laughs> Yet the one I posted about a serious topic about like, you know, being 28. 77 views. Like, Aww. come on, man. Where are my fellow 28 year olds? <laughs> but the hangover, hey. Everybody <laughs> likes that. <laughs> but anyway, last last uh, final thoughts. Did you I'm just glitch? <laughs> There's just nothing happening up here. Okay, she is um, control just... alt deleting task manager. <laughs> I'm just happy to be mostly not sick anymore. Yay! It's like, the weight has lifted, I'm just getting the last of it out of my system, like, that was a week of hell, I got two nights without sleep, <laughs> but just two nights of tossing and turning and failing. Yeah, that sounds about right. And I still went to work, <laughs> which okay. I should not have done. Outroing. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> Goodbye.